Howdy, folks. How y'all doing out there? Welcome to a kind of repeat start new series for the channel. This is Grim Fandango. The amazing, incredible story game that has been asked for by a few people on the channel already. Um, for those of you who have already watched the first episode, yes, we started it. We did do the first episode, but and I didn't realize this until the encoded episode went up. The sound on it was kind of trash, right? We can agree between us. We know the sound from the actual guys. The actual game was kind of sucky. So I decided we'd start again um, before we get too far in. So this first episode is pretty much going to be the whole of the first bit. <laughs> Mostly so you guys can actually hear the game, which I feel might be nice Sorry for you. for the wait, Mr. Flores. Yeah, I am ready to take good. you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. No. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? Mm, no. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating, intimidating. me? <laughs> but I'm Sorry. your friend. My name's Manny I Calavera. Cut that out. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go I home. I couldn't before and I can't now. I'm just going to be honest. I can't. Home, Celso. You're, you're dead. dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's <laughs> why we call it the land of the dead. Yeah. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Uh, if they do a remake of that this game, I could do the whole thing, and I would need a script. Us. I mean, <laughs> wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But Good time. People qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Well, I don't know that. It's like a little ladder. It appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yes, that's the <laughs> ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle would sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there Something are like some that. folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. <laughs> Hey man, so. the boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He I'll wants spend. to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Yes, tell ma'am. Not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything sell good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. <laughs> I need better clients. I need a real saint. saint. I, need I need a lead, lead on a on rich, rich dead, dead saint. saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? Yeah, stop. Um, yeah, sorry. I will really try and cut down on the um, speaking every single line in the game. Um, <laughs> but, like, I, the game means a lot to me. It really does. Um, as I've said in the first episode of this race, you guys will already know this. But... I will be deleting that first episode so we can just have this one. I'm hopeful the sound for this actually comes through pretty good for you guys. It's coming through. It's some sort of special recorder. Two Fingers crossed. All agents from office manager Don, Don Cobalt. Cobalt. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. No. Um, yeah, so you say, the plot line is, I guess, we are Manuel Calavera, the very long, gold Manuel Calavera. Kind of short, but big-headed. Um, <laughs> you know, I know some people like that. Um, Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire, solitaire. for me. Um, it's fine. It's like what Manny makes up in, um, in personality, what he lacks in um, height. But it's all good. 
Uh, Manny works for the DOD in the Land of the Dead, where his job is to uh, ferry the souls of the living um, from the living world to the dead world, I guess. The afterlife. Um, and as we saw in the bit there, um, if they have led a good life, then they can potentially get a package that will help them get through the Land of the Dead, which is a four-year journey um, on foot. Um, or you can qualify, hopefully, for the ticket on number nine if you've had an exceptional life, if you've been a saint. Um, and then you can kind of, uh, you can get the train to the end of the world. That's really nice, really helpful. Um, but yeah, that's, that's our gig. Um, Manny is, uh, he works on commission, so if he gets um, Manny, good... Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? Uh, if he gets good uh, commissions, then if he gets uh, some uh, some saints and stuff like that, then um, he can start working on some of his time and potentially get a ticket for himself as well. What poisoning? The code three gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do gazpacho. I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? I mean, she's going to yes. do the synopsis well, for me, basically. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. And that's the deal. That was much better than I said, really, wasn't it? Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. Yeah, that's true. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But true. in one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out mm -hmm. if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trap soul and you don't even know it. I know. I'm a delight. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Que tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. I'm, I'm sorry if I, I'm quite quiet in this game. Um, I will try my best to, to kind of monitor it. But like, the problem is for me is that I do love this game. And I last time I played this, I, I didn't really in the same way as um i was doing it for kind of trophies and stuff i played this when i was eight years old i think um i'm gonna, well, I'm gonna hit the bricks. i gotta go hit the bricks okay you show those bricks a lesson i will um sorry brother guys uh, okay so back on track um so we are we're we gonna go first we're gonna go to the garage first to check in with our driver he's just left the time's for us um, right. Well, that was maybe Dominic. So, um, as is what happened there, I jumped. Okay, not sure. Um, as is normally the case, you know, there's always someone at work that's always a bit better or gets special treatment that we don't get. Oh, this is the guy. Sorry, sir. This is this is the hero. The whole game, not even us. Don't come over to this part of the garage. Hey, you the driver. Me? Ha, no, 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 no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. Glottis is a demon, a greater demon of the underworld. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, yeah. wasn't that nice? Domino Hurley um, is the guy who's like the special treatment at work guy. Looks um, like I need a new driver. Oh! And there's competition I, between uh, us. I, uh, we're trying to be a cop salesman, obviously. Agree with that. Um, but he gets all the good yes, leads. He you do. Sent my driver home. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm. I'm. I'm too. I love big. that. Like, so Manny's head is set to kind of focus on a certain thing. Um, You're not too big. 
so the cars are just too small. when that yeah, thing moves, his head moves with it every cars. time, which hey, is kind of great. Gives me an idea. I could alter your car just uh, even like a little bit. His head moves. Torch job to let out the seams, you know. I'm, I'm not allowed to modify <laughs> the cars without a work order from upstairs. I, I could I, lose no, no. my job. No. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these but, signed anyway, by the boss. This is a point and click adventure. Hey, 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 that's my line. Getting people to sign back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. Yeah, exactly. How are you fitting there? I have no idea. Um, but yeah, it's a point and click adventure, right? So we uh, we want to collect things as we go. Um, and something I've got to go grab um, before I forget. It saves us some time later on. Speaking of saving time, uh, so when we do finish this, once the last uh, episode has been up on the channel, we will be doing a um, attempting a speed run of the game um, because without listening to characters or, or talking to characters and stuff like that, I think I could do Thanks, pretty but well. I got solitaire on the computer, Manny. Cool. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking Just cards, honey. Um, yeah, the top time I think is 49 minutes and 32 seconds. There's not a lot of people who've got who've done that speedrun with Grim Dan Dango. Um, I suppose with like point and click adventures, it's generally like there's not a lot of like uh, of time you can cut out generally. But there's a few bits and pieces I think I could do pretty quick on, or at least get onto the leaderboard. You know, um, but this is they're dead. They're dead in the land of the dead. So it's a festival going on. Since I really didn't get to celebrate bread. the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. Pan de muertos. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing, practicing what? what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist, Twist this, this, all right? <laughs> the designs and everything for the game, they just, it's beautiful, isn't it? Like, I'm glad that the remastered version... It didn't really change much. Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what um, you know, buddy. I can do anything. Uh, everything looks pretty much I exactly the same as it always did. Amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. Robert Frost. Robert Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? At eight years old, I think that's like. Ta -da. like I was baffled by this game. I was like, the amount of stuff I was like, okay, cool. And it took me so long to figure out how to do bits and pieces. I think this was my, like, my first example of a point and click adventure. Kid, uh, wants another balloon. Well, he was old, obviously, uh, probably geez, was. What um, now? But like, heck, that's easy. Yeah, it's just it's a fantastic game. Great story. There's no uh, if you haven't played for yourself, those. I think it's like 10 quid on Steam at the moment. Um, well, I think it's like 12 pounds. Uh, and you can get the um, uh, geez, what now? Soundtrack with it. Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. Cool. Right, that's all of those I needed. And that, yeah. That's what I want, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Never really sure who put this up, but it's very helpful for us. Because what we need to do, we need to get into uh, Dom's office. Um, in order to tweak some stuff. So, we're going to go back and see Ava in a second. But in order to get the work order signed, we need to do this. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Yeah. <clears throat> the moment is saying, didn't I say no interruptions today? Um, I'll just change, change his place. auto response here. Ah, oh, great, Ava. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. And that takes care of that. <laughs> Which means that we can mosey back down here. This is not the worst thing we want to actually do right now. We can, we can do this now, that's fine. And then we can go down there. Beautiful. This first episode might be a little bit, not rushed, but um, probably quicker than the other one was. Um, that's absolutely fine. So yes, we do this. We can go back inside. It's beautiful, isn't it? Like the, uh, the mural on the front. Love that. 
wonder if we could do like um, a poster one day of like some of the games and stuff that we've done kind of turned into a, a Grim Fandango style uh, mule. Right. If I that. really need the boss to sign this work order, I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something simple. out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, cripes, Ava, just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. Beautiful things. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. <laughs> Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. <laughs> oh, God, I love this boy. Is that there's one of my favorite hero like game characters. Hey, I look good in this, don't I? Just, I was I love how sad yeah, the car well, looks. They say black is slimming. I'm driving. Yeah, I'm driving. Go go go, Gladys. The whole time making his noises himself. I could have walked faster than this. Ugh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. <laughs> now we are in the land of living. The strange, weird people. And there goes Dom, the nun. Domino. We get the leftovers. The and this the only one. I need foul mouth little nice bathroom. <laughs> several travel package upgrades if you'd care to cut the yap i want something cheap where i can get some rest now that's it ay 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 you know manny i could make this car a little faster if you wanted yeah yeah whatever oh yes yeah. slam the front <laughs> to the lead tub the rear end two blowers pop it out of the hood <laughs> you'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded. But so we're doing a thing. I start, I was I was recording like yesterday this. some of this, and before I realized the sound was oh, crap, I had to restart the thing. Um, Sorry, Bruno. We're doing a thing of like for any pulling out a line from here, every single episode we're doing this complimentary of, uh, of what no, we could get tattooed wait. on me. <laughs> Can't you find me I, can I feel like that might be the one from this one. The wow, 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 wow. Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a <laughs> sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey, now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out. Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile, and a whole lot of time to kill. Who you call a scumbag? Why well, I ought to. <laughs> it is that. I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. Now, we start getting to work. And what we need to do though is go right back down these stairs. So, because I know the game, and because I love the game, there's a lot of this I already know. Uh, you and your fancy so, suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? 
Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Yes. Huh? You think you're better than me? No. No. Good. A little bit. So, okay, a few things, right? I'm gonna try and explain these while we do them so that's not just like a case of, you know, yeah, I'm doing these things. So this is the tube switcher. This is the thing that sends all the messages to everybody uh, in the building. Okay, so this is the one that sends the leads out. Now, what we need to do is we need to bung that thing up. So, we're going to do a couple of things. Now, we've got the dead worms from outside. And we've got those because they're not filled. They're balloons, right? They're long balloons. We are going to do this with. One. If we get a balloon, there we go. We do. And as Manny said, when the two chemicals mix, the um, they expand. I don't need the hernia. So we are now going to go back up to our room and have a chat with Dom on the way. Dom is now in his office. This is Dom. He's our um, competition well, all around you're not asshole. The bottle anymore. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. <laughs> and you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo-choo, little buddy. Say, how'd that? you score? Uh, two nuns, actually. I got a uh, mean midget honest. I had to send parcel post. Ah, cheer up, buddy. Another day, another death. Am I right? Yeah, I want to punch you in the mouth. I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no. Not the Christmas party all over again. What happened, what the Christmas happened party? at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. I guess Manny got very drunk. I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. I'm not. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. I want my office back. Don't worry. You'll have years and years to enjoy it after <laughs> I get promoted out and you're still here. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> oh, bastard. I think we should team up. Be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. <laughs> I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. <laughs> Uh, I don't think that's right, gonna Cap. Give it the old college try. Oh, whoops. I keep forgetting. You didn't go to college, did you? I smacked. I was back in the mouth. I really do. Well, see you in limbo. Oh, that's great. We should do this more often. Yeah, okay. Don't like you. Um, right. So, stuff. My office is comparatively dark compared to Dom's. Right, first we need to open this. And then we do this. And then we send it down the tube. This big giant purple chemical filled dildo. <laughs> Look out below. <laughs> That's a really weird way to describe it, I'm sorry. <laughs> and pop. Pull the diesel. And then we do the other one. And still are coming down again. <laughs> and hey presto. We got it, baby. That doesn't sound good. No, it does not. Let's just close that back up just so that no one asks any question. <laughs> well, I do anyway. I just it's just more of uh, my thing. But, um, Servers down again. What, what else, else is do? new? Okay, I didn't actually even mean to do that one on on the same thing. Um, but then we can go down here. Run this way. 
and then Matey Boy will be in here working to clean it and fix it. And then we do this. I've just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. And then we leave. Oh, not again! And he catches fire. And he pulls out a fire extinguisher. You tried to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher. Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here. What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste. No, probably not. Well, okay, so this is a big thing. And if you do play this game, you've got to remember this. Nothing really is said or done or put into the game that is superfluous. There are conversations that happen, right? But there will always be something in every conversation between that one Right, that matters at some point in the game. It plays a part in something in the game. And we'll see later on. But remember, thing great. Right, but the door we are locked so that it can't be shut. Right, now we can go in. Let's back up. And go in. And take that card that we punched earlier. This. <laughs> Mercedes Colomar, client number 9308, blah blah blah, died of chicken pox, time of death, yada yada yada, aha, positive attributes, volunteer time, reading stories to dying children. Isn't that lovely? That That's is good. our ticket right That's there. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. <laughs> Are you loco? What got into you? you there we go, baby. Car. Oh yeah, and it's even better company now. <laughs> That's our new baby. You're not the nurse? Ah, oh, nurse. God, no. I got wrong. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. Oh. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calaveda. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. <laughs> the only implication here is that I'm fired. Is it something I did? Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Anything about your past you haven't yeah. told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never <laughs> killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. No, probably not. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. That's the exact excuse oh. my brother would use, I think. <laughs> oh, no. I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Ever cheated <laughs> on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha. Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calaveda, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Work yeah. with me, Mechi. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry, I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. Lesson. 
A big old ass. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. I just want to check something before I, yeah, we carried on. Uh, awesome. Right, let's go. And get our ass ripped into. Hey, funny bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! And that sums it up! steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service. Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. When you say it like Get that. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want <laughs> done with you. Someone's going to take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't going to be me. Yes, sir. The cozy, right? Hey, so, is anybody out there? This is about where we got up to in the um, in the actual first so chapter. Have you thought about what you have done? Who's, Who's out, out there? there? I'm you, or rather, I was you. Years ago. Yeah, well, I'm me now, so get lost. I'm thinking about getting out and getting even. That's it. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back Manuela. in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick I'm you not right back in their fold. Bastards. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. I'm gonna blow the lid, off this, lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club, Salvador Limones <laughs> and guest. This Where is one of the big heroes. So, the headquarters um... of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. That is something I think I was tempted to get happy with as well. Just the Lost Souls Alliance. To do what exactly? <laughs> we need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny. I was Eva a is a spy. No way. I didn't but see I it coming. Did you? Corruption in our beloved department I, mean, of I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone. Like babies, Manuel. Like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Ah, we well, said that we didn't want it, Manny. Don't be able go back to get right out now. of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. Yes, we sir. Be of some use we won't be you. long. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, give me two seconds, guys. Hey there, folks. Welcome back. Sorry about that. Um, so, we have been saved by the NSA. Um, Open that door, Sal. Oh, yeah, I got places so to go. To Does that mean you're ready to join us? I'm not, not a joiner. Join just pop the hatch and let's part friends. I'm sorry, but this is war, Manuel, and you are the first draftee. That is okay, interesting. I'm in. It's what do I have to do? You know. I'm going to build an underground army of we souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Maro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. 
or how important our marrow is, which is that say we're inside. Do you know something um, I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes. My last client in particular, Mechi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafters. The their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into I heaven. Be back on this game. But money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. And so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the eighth underworld. And for that, you need money. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. <laughs> if I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No. So this I need is to why raise them from birth, the Agent Calavera. I need you to the, bring me their the eggs. Number. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Viva la revolución! It's literally everything from Sal. I don't normally talk to him that long. I just, I, well, I didn't last time anyway. There's a lot of stuff in the game for Um, but yeah, so the LSA are, um, Sal is an, is an ex Reaper. Um, so what Manny used to be doing. Um, so he knows all the ins and outs of the teams, which is what he was on about back in the garage. Um, when he said, like, uh, he used to be like us. Um, but now we have some things to do. Still. Mm. First. Dom's. We need to get into Dom's office. This Dom's office holds a couple of key things that we need. But like I said, so there's nothing in this game that's superfluous, really, um, in terms of people or um. Or it looks like, like a glowing hunk of You can interact with it generally, like other than the booze there. That's just kind of <laughs> knock around thing. Um, but there's like even that so like you know the punching bag that he was using earlier there's still nothing there's still something to gain from every single like thing that's going on um like we came back and spoke to him yeah, earlier on had this in punching bag and stuff. um it's not like you know the huge thing it doesn't even necessarily have to be the person but we got what we needed right now and so let's run back and then we're going to take our coral Tie it to the rope, and then we're gonna take our rope. I wonder if that's how Domino meant it to be used. Probably not. No. <laughs> we're gonna take our rope, and we're gonna whip, just like that. First try, Manny. Not even, you know, gonna put about, and then because <laughs> we are that dexterous in this world somehow. Don't we know? But whatever. Cool. Um, and then I'm gonna make our way to the roof. Have a great view of Elma. It's really cool. It's a beautiful game. Beautiful world. I'm, on, I'm kind of looking forward to um to pulling bits from. There's um, a whole bit of stuff that I've been playing this. And so I was trying to record some of it yesterday. Um, before the sound was kind of crapping out. Uh, before I knew the sound was kind of crapping out. That. That goes in there. Maybe that will scare them. Eventually. And take the bread. Grind, 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 um, and there's some things that I've had to, I've now had to change in the podcast, I've had to the story and stuff, and I've like, I'm now rewriting God and demons and devils and all sorts of bits and pieces to try, like, not to crowbar this in, but there's like a... Yeah, beat it, you lousy little ledge pickers! Pain, I don't know, homage or whatever, or inspire, inspiration from... You must this, come with one me, of my young ones, favorite games. for I am the Green Reaper. <laughs> He's, I, I'm never sure if he says Grim or Grin. I'm the Grin Reaper, like, because of his big smile. <laughs> right, we 
mosey on down here. And then before we go back in, because now we can't go back into the main building of the OSS, uh, of the thing anymore. We run through here. Uh, I wonder actually if we can. I'm, on, I'm going to try and go upstairs and talk to Ava. Oh no, Ava's not there. What am I doing? Ava's downstairs. We don't no reason to go back upstairs. Come back into here. Hey, what did they do with Gladys? And this thing is going to be for this. Fill a dent. Good Fills for dents, in. great for dentures. And we do this. And what I didn't do is I didn't explain why I'm doing this. Um, wow, that made a perfect impression on my it. teeth. So and downstairs in the USS. Um, that's right. That's through to the, the land of living. Agent Calavera and two guests. <laughs> Showing off the eggs. I feel bad for Sal if I'm the only one who could have done that, you know? Right. And we can give the eggs to Sal. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed Manuel. an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you. Yeah. Agent Calavera. I myself would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. We need your dental work here to access the computer. I am sorry. So he does have us. But freedom has its price. So this computer here is thrown away by the, the DOD. Um, and it's accessed by a uh, dental record. So like when you're gone, uh, when man or anyone who the, the any repo is on, um, it scans their teeth. So, Manny, but this, this looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, and soldier. David does the rest. You are a friend so of the revolution, Agent Calavera. Oh, and now, let me be of service to you. You must go Thank to the you. town of Rubacaba, my friend, if you want to find your lost soul. How do you know where she is? I don't. But everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament, and therefore must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my I wanna, I'm going to look into like what other games these guys have made, because I really don't know. I, at eight years old, I fell in love with the story. The idea of game development companies and stuff like that, that was some really tunnel. wasn't in I'm my head. I'm on the way to the edge of the petrified forest. <laughs> but there's a boy. A bubby bubby baby boy. Blood is my friend. Why are you crying? Maddy? Oh, Maddy, they fired me. <laughs> Me too, buddy. You don't understand, Betty. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out <laughs> like my heart so? and threw it into the <laughs> woods. To... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gladys. I remember as like a kid, I was watching, like, playing this, I was like, what? <laughs> Can I do that? <laughs> no. Um, that. Cream bugs. But for Gladys, that's no real biggie than just falling asleep. Oh, no. Ooh, ick. Shoot! Get, get away from his heart. Right, so we need bone. I guess I could always use a spare. Right, we need a few, and I will explain why later. We need like four. We need one for this. Soup's on. Huh, they don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. No, they like flesh, my friend, flesh. Maybe we need this. So the reason why we put bone in there is because you need something to hook the scythe onto. If you just put the scythe through it, then it's just going to cut through the web and then they come and repair it. 
Um, but we need something to hook thing on to. Spiders, the heart away. No more demon heart to eat. Basically heart surgeons. Just just you know amazing little heart surgeon. A thump. That's exactly how heart surgery works, folks. We didn't know. Heart! Heart is good. Be good to heart. Right. Don't tear out heart. Heart is good. Strong <laughs> beating good heart. Hey, is that my car? <laughs> and, and that's another quote I would be thinking of getting put on me as well. <laughs> Mr. Lamaz, I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from There's the There's a domino tattoo on his hand. That I never noticed that. my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad, but not a dog. That, that's the big bad. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, not until now. Hector! And that no! is left his choice. <laughs> Dominic, uh, Dom has, uh, Don even has just been sprouted. <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Want to go for a ride? I thought you'd never And that's ask. the means of disposal of this game. The people don't die. Unless you sprout them. Good job. Good job, Gladys. Right, so... Now I've got a couple more things to do. I'm not far from the end of the first year. Um, now I've got some things to do. Híjole, mano. What sort of Híjole. a Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby <laughs> tires on the back and He's a so two-stroke lawnmower engine, isn't we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. I'm so happy and positive. Gladys. What are they doing to that tree? Oh, time for city back to boy. Though. You work all day in a 60-story skyscraper, but didn't you ever wonder what it was made of? The marrow of these trees, man. They suck it out. It's like cement. Is that why the town's called El Marro? Huh? Never thought of that. Right, so we Maybe do. so. We can balance this tree. So, the ones on the left and the ones on the right will be in perfect sync. We can't have them uh, right there. Right, so that's not that one, okay. That, that. I picked the rope. I picked a bad one to try and get timing off them. Beautiful stuff. Mash that. And then we trailer. turn the thing off. So that is. Ooh, more careful, Manny! Uh, With the harmonic balance up. balancer turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh! And he says. Oh! If we shut the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon! <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake it down for sure. Yeah. We gotta attach some weights to the tree. But the price is huge. Okay, just give me a He's second a big to old balance boy. these doggies. He's a big old boy. And unfortunately, he can make this happen a lot quicker than some little weights. <laughs> what are you doing? Just like that. Whole thing. Crashing 
Alice gets his hard drive. Manny, until now we scraped along the ground like rats. But from now on we soar. Like eagles. Like eagles. <laughs> like oh. eagles on pogo sticks! <laughs> <laughs> Another potential quote for the arm. <laughs> what a relief. I was getting concerned that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in! Or are you afraid of heights? <laughs> right, so one more thing has to do then, and then we can kinda of get a move on. Well, two more things, I guess. So we need to take the sign that Glotus was kind enough to run into and knock out the ground. We take this sign. Now this is how much I've played the game, right? If I can get this on the first try. And I have put. I, I remember this game way too much. And I think I know where it is. Basically, what's meant to happen with the side is you put it in the ground, um, and it points in a direction of where it's supposed to be. Oh, I didn't get it. Right, that way. How far off was that? It's this bit, isn't it? It's there. Yeah, it, God's sake, man. I was that far off. God damn it. <laughs> um, yeah, so it spins and you point you in the right direction of where the group is. Um, and like all the tunnels that are around here, basically you run through them and you come out one of the other tunnels that are around there as well. Um, but yeah, that's not a sign that I know this game way too well. <laughs> but... It's um, it's nice to play this again to, to do it with you guys. It really is. I like, and I haven't played it in a long time. It looks like it, some sort of warning sign. They'll eight, tear you apart again, I I bone like, by bone like and build ago. with you a human I I throne. It, Their buck tooth king will sit upon what once was you, but now is That's gone. gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Pretty awesome. It's just, it's just lovely writing. So now we have the key of the fire. Pass up an old throne. creepy key. Now we can get our asses out of here. And he looks good in green. I mean, he looked good in the, the Reaper outfit. But that's part of me that wishes like you could do different um, outfits for him. Like put different skins on him at different times. Because I think I was just having him in the Reaper outfit the whole time. But it's um. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. And we have to go the whole way around to get in. Okay. Well. <laughs> right, now, last bit. Manny! What are you doing? Manny. Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny! They'll make you into a dam! Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny! They don't, they don't use, use wood. wood. There are our demons. I fired demons in hell. This is why the land of the dead is so dangerous. Because <laughs> um, of demons like that. As you can see, there's three of the lovely men, the flushes. Um, but again, if you are going to play this for yourself, timing is vital for this bit. This is why we took the bones. We take our bone, and we throw it in the left river. And the beaver gets way too tempted and has to go check it out. And we wait for him to roar. And then... yeah. I was close to not getting that one. <laughs> I mean, you should need to do that two more times. And then it's easy peasy. Roar. And fire. Wanted to 
go. I think this game took me a lot longer when I was eight years old. I don't know why. Yeah. And last one. Gotcha. Beautiful stuff. Right, now the way is clear for us and anyone else who has to come this way. Pretty nice. But yeah, um, so, okay, there we go. Awesome. You're through. Go back through here and we use the fiery key to do this. This outer gate is huge. I'll need Gladys to open it. Uh, Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. What dead? They're I dead wouldn't dead. want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Oh, I don't know if they're alive, Manny. though. I don't think they are. We're free. We are free. And that, I think, is where we're going to look at ending this episode. Hello? We've made it. Um, to River Carver. We're here our, to save our next you. Call. Literally, hey, port port lay off the racket. The whole town's asleep. But I want a drag race. <laughs> hey, get a load of my car. We're gonna be the talk of the town. <laughs> You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mitch is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's where we go. <laughs> like a child with his new toy, Lotus just <laughs> then behaves himself. Um, but yeah, we're going to end that one off there. I um, hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you um, took the time to watch the start of this one, then I really appreciate it because it helps with my watch time. Um, I know most of you guys would have probably watched it already. Um, but thank you very much. Have a great day. Have a great night. Whatever time zone you are in, stay happy, stay positive, stay cheesy. The rest of the episodes of this um, will be a bit shorter. There'll be probably like uh, two episodes per year of, year of, uh, of Grim Fandango. Um, so we've probably got about six episodes of this uh, series. A wonderful series. And I do encourage you to play it for yourselves while I'm while I'm doing it so you don't get, you know, cued in on all the clues. Um, but most of them I remember. And please do, um, in um, in the comments, please do chuck in um, any suggestions for more point and click adventures. I do love them. And playing this again does make me want to do more of them. I, I get hooked on a kind of game series, like a game style for a while. Like we're doing a lot of survival right now. And then before that, we were doing investigate for a while. And before that, God knows what else. Um, but if you've got more good point and click adventures, please put them in the comments. Um, and I would love to try them out. Um, we do love a good investigate game around here. Um, so I could use some suggestions. I do have one more to do after this. Um, kind of a... A murder mystery kingdom princes fairy tale kind of thing and i haven't really kind of played it out all that way through yet and i think it's a bit of a longer one um but i'm looking forward to doing that with you guys but thank you have a great night have a great day uh lots of love folks and i will see you guys again very soon